Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at another one of Gerber's new offerings for 2020. This is the Gerber Pridebrit X. This thing is going to come in two different colors. First of all, the version I have here is called the Urban Blue, and it comes with a blue paracord wrap, but it's going to have silver anodized aluminum scales. The other version is called the OD Green, and it's going to have a more of a hunter green paracord wrap, and the scales look really, really dark green or almost black. I don't have that version, but the, the, it's almost like they have black scales, but I think it's a really, really rich green is what it is. Price on this is going to be about $23 uh, for the retail. I expect over time that's going to that's going to drop off a bit. At some point, I think we'll probably see this in the $15, $16 range, but really only time is going to tell that. Now, the weight on this is pretty impressive. It's 1.6 ounces or about 46 grams, so it's super lightweight. Three and 15 sixteenths of an inch long, just under four inches in overall length, or about 100 millimeters. 15 sixteenths of an inch wide, or about 24 millimeters, and it is only a quarter of an inch thick, or about 6.5 millimeters. So it is a super pocket-friendly tool. This thing will actually fit, if you, I wear Levi's, and Levi's have a really deep change pocket, this thing will actually, just barely, but it will, it'll fit in the, in the fifth pocket of my jeans. So I think it's a really good little utility tool. But well, let's get into the features and functions of this Pryber deck, see if it's the right one for you. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the utility blade. And this uses a number 11 hobby blade. A few things about this slide mechanism. It's all steel construction in there and it feels really solid. Now there's no stepped opening. It's either fully open or you can push it for and go all the way forward and that's so that you can exchange it or you know to exchange the blade. But you can actually cut with it in that extended length as well. So while it doesn't have stepped opening, I feel like that slide mechanism and the, the same thing is true of the other one that we reviewed and that was the the uh, Gerber Pryberid Utility. Both of them very very good and solid. Now the thing with hobby blades is the way they're designed, this actually is a little bit loose fitting. Uh, this is where it differs a little bit from the Prybrid Utility because the Utility is actually really a lot more solid than this one. Now the knife blade itself is in there pretty solidly. It's just the, just the way the Utility blades, these hobby blades are made. So to release it you have to push this little spring back and it's quite stiff actually. So you push that back and then you're able to slide it out. And you can see on that hobby blade how it has an elongated hole. Well, the catch mechanism on this Gerber is a little is just punched in a circular pattern. And so that's why you get that little bit of extra movement out of them. Uh, other than that, the blade itself, the whole mechanism is really solid, completely retracts all the way in, nice and smooth. Uh, the action on there is really, really good. Now, we move around to the back. First thing it has is some extra paracord for the paracord wrap. This is something that the utility does not have. So I don't know how many uh, or what length of paracord they put on there, but I would guess it's going to be about three feet somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, hard to tell unless they would take it completely apart to see, but for those that like to have a little bit of extra paracord on them for whatever situation, it's kind of nice that it comes in there with that little wrap. Now for the pry tool, it has integrated lanyard loop, so if you wanted to attach a lanyard to it, you could. Has the integrated bottle cap lifter, which uh, I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but because it's pretty thick here or pretty wide on the bottom, I think it's really going to work well. I'm going to try this later uh, to see how well it works, but from what I've just looking at it and what I know about bottle cap lifters and how they're designed and which ones work well and which ones don't, I think this one's going to work pretty good actually. The next tool, uh, well actually there's several tools on the pry tool itself. So on the wide side over here, they call that the pry tool. So that's used for you know your light duty pry task, opening up paint cans, little stuff, you know. Then the V notch is used for a couple different things. The first of which is a little nail pull. Now this one doesn't have quite the kick over, quite the break on it that the, the bigger version of this does. So it does give you a decent amount of incline. It's up there fairly decently. It's about 25 degrees. So you should be able to get enough pry force in order to, to get a little bit of work done using it as a little nail puller. The second part of that is this is an integrated wire stripper. 
Now, when I originally got these and saw that on the packaging, I thought, well, I, you know, I thought you're supposed to put the wire in there, cut, and this would cut the insulation. That's not the case at all. What it's meant to do is you, you uh, cut your insulation around with your blade, and then you flip this around, and you're able to use this to, to pry in there and then strip the insulation off. Saves you from having to pull it with your teeth or with your fingernails or whatever, and it, or a pair of pliers for that matter. And it works really, really well for that function. Now the next tools that they call out for this uh, is really stretching it, much like they did in the utility. They call these two sides screwdrivers. And the problem with that is, is because of the thin profile that they have to make these in order to be able to use it as a pry tool, they're not going to be very good at, at screwdriver functionality. They're just not. Uh, anybody who's ever used a screwdriver, and I know most everybody who watches this channel has definitely used a screwdriver, can attest that these little thin, they're just, they're just not going to do it. And aside from the fact that it's kind of cumbersome to operate these, it's just not going to work well. In a pinch, you might be able to get, you know, a, a screw head that's really not super tight uh, that you'd be able to get loosened off. But overall, I think they're, they're really kind of stretching everything when they say that. Now what I do like about both of these designs is that the pry bar extends all the way to the end. So the whole thing is the pry bar, we have part of the handles back here, and then they screw on the anodized aluminum handles in this case onto the pry bar itself. Makes it very, very solid. Now this one is not quite as long as what you're going to get with the larger version of this tool, but it still offers a decent amount of reach and it's a really solid tool, it really is. This is one that I like a lot, and it partially because you, you hardly ever find a multi-tool that incorporates these hobby blades, and not everybody needs a utility blade. I personally do. This, this tool is probably not you know going to work for me. It's just going to go in my collection. I'm, I'm more apt to lean towards the larger version because we'll use utility blades on the job site all the time, and that's what I intend it. To, to use it for. This particular one though, the, the, the Prybird X, is a very good little EDC tool. It's light, it's compact, has super sharp blade from those hobby blades on there. The pry tool, uh, I, you just get a lot of use out of it. And then if you like the extra prayer cord as well, it's just an added bonus. I highly recommend this tool, even though I have not used it that much. Uh, just a little task around the house just to try it out a little bit. It has performed really, really well at everything that it's designed and what I've asked of it. Uh, I've used that pry tool a few different times on several different things, and it just it just works. I mean, it just does. This is the Gerber Prybird X, one that I definitely will recommend, and you can find links again in the description box below. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time.